So with Bernie Sanders suspending his 2020 campaign, Joe Biden is now the presumptive Democratic nominee. And before Bernie made that announcement, one of the major stories from Biden people, from Warren people, from everyone basically in the mainstream media was that Bernie Sanders was divisive, that he and his staff and his movement were a barrier to unity when it came to taking on Donald Trump in November. And yet, since Bernie made that announcement, some of Bernie's core staff people have been attacked by Biden supporters in really cruel ways, but also in ways that put down regular working class people, essential workers, the people who do the work that we all underappreciate, but that we need to survive. And Brianna Joy Gray is really the center of these attacks. If you don't know who she is, she was Bernie's national press secretary, and she hosted the Hero the burn podcast and in general was essential for bernie sanders to get his message out to tens of millions of americans she did a fantastic job and i don't think the campaign would have been the same without her but because of that she was often on the forefront of the anti-bernie brunt on twitter and in other venues because she was often the face of the campaign, at least when it came to media outreach and social media presence and so on and so forth. And when she criticized Kamala Harris a couple weeks ago, many people not only gang piled her, but they also suggested that she would never work in this town again, that she would never be able to work in communications, that she would be shut out from, you know, the Democratic Party establishment. And they weren't saying that as a negative thing. They weren't saying that as something she should worry about because they were concerned about her. They were basically bragging that she would be blacklisted from any future career opportunities because she dared to rightfully criticize Kamala Harris and rightfully stand up for the venerable principle of Medicare for all. And if we fast forward to a couple days ago now, basically yesterday and the day before, Biden supporters were sharing around photoshopped pictures of Brianna Joy Gray as a sanitation worker working at McDonald's, traditional working class, you know, service industry, blue collar type positions. As if to say, because the campaign is over, she will have nothing to do but these quote unquote bad working class jobs. Those are going to be the only things she's qualified to do. But in so doing, they not only show the pettiness, but they also show a real disdain for working class people. You know, this whole idea that, you know, they actually stand for regular people and Bernie Sanders just doesn't understand things. His movement is all a bunch of professional activists. And then you see Biden supporters share around these awful memes, making fun more of working class people in some ways than Brianna Joy Gray even. It really shows that they fundamentally don't like regular people. They might want their votes. They might have this abstract idea that working class people have value, but when the chips are down, they serve as, you know, an example to mock people. You failed, ergo, you're going to have to relegate yourself jobs that tens of millions of Americans, hundreds of millions of Americans do every single day and are underpaid and underappreciated for doing. But nonetheless, we need them. If we didn't have those people, society would literally crumble. It would tear at the seams. And so Brianna noted this on social media when reacting to these posts. She said, thinking about how Biden supporters immediately photoshopped these images of me as essential workers in an effort to demean me and what it says about how much they actually care about working class people. Anyway, keep fighting and don't take your moral guidance from folks who treat working people as a punchline perfectly stated. You can tell that she's a communications expert because she didn't even really make it about herself. Certainly, they're trying to mock her and they're trying to hurt her feelings and maybe they did, but she was sharp enough to know and had enough empathy to know that the real target here were the actual people who work at McDonald's and the actual people who do crucial sanitation work day in, day out in our cities and towns across the country. It really does demonstrate that the Biden movement, the Biden bros, if you will, need to do a lot more if they want to convince working class people that Biden actually cares about them. And that if these memes are representative of their campaign strategy, it seems that they're going to be more willing to mock regular folks than reach out to them to champion them, to see them as candidates for partners rather than charity cases or as Brianna notes, punchlines.
And if the Biden campaign really wants to claim that it is the force for unity, it's going to have to deal with this. And you might say, of course, well, these are just memes from people on the Internet. These don't necessarily represent the Biden campaign. But if we recall, Elizabeth Warren and the rest of the Democrats relentlessly went at Bernie Sanders for what people online, random Twitter trolls, quote unquote, posted about them and their supporters and their policies and their ideas and their campaigns. So if the shoe fits for Bernie, it should fit for Biden. And Biden needs to respond to his toxic supporters. If you're going to mock the working class, you will not win this election. And if you're going to try to hold someone's career hostage because they dared to stand for working class people and the principles of Medicare for all, you show us where you stand. It is not Bernie's responsibility and the Bernie movement's responsibility to win this election for Joe Biden. Joe Biden needs to convince people and his supporters need to convince people why he's the best man to be president and why he represents the interests of working people. So far, they haven't done a good job at all.